Hello, and welcome to Glitch. In this video, we're going to walk through the process of migrating your Thimble projects to Glitch, and we'll cover a few of the differences between the Thimble platform and Glitch. Starting on December 18, 2018, when you log into the Thimble homepage, you'll be graded by a message with some information about the move from Thimble to Glitch. From here, you can follow a link to the blog post discussing the transition in more detail. You can also close this message and go right to the Thimble homepage, but keep in mind that as time passes towards December 2019, Thimble features will gradually be turned off. You can also click on the button to start exporting your projects to Glitch. After clicking the Start Exporting button, you're taken to your Thimble dashboard, which will show all of your projects. Ones that haven't been migrated yet will display a button to start the export process, and ones you've already exported will say as much. When, once you click on the Export to Glitch button next to your project, you'll be presented with a new message explaining the process in a little more detail. You can also open your Thimble project, and you'll see an Export to Glitch banner at the top, which will present you with the same message. Your options here depend on whether or not your project has a published version. If it does, you'll have a choice to make. Do I want to migrate the project as it is, or the latest published version? If your project doesn't have a published version, you won't have to make a choice, but once you've chosen which version to export to Glitch, you won't be able to re-export the same project again. If you want to export the most up-to-date version, we suggest migrating the unpublished state. But aside from determining which version of your project to export, both buttons function exactly the same, so we'll follow the process for the published version. Once you click on the appropriate export button and then confirm that you want to finish the export, the process starts off in a new tab by sending you to a special glitch location that imports your project from Thimble. This process will vary in duration based on how large your Thimble project is, but after a few moments you'll be placed in your new glitch project with a readme file open. This file covers some of the highlights of the differences between Thimble projects and glitch projects, and we'll cover a few more of these differences in separate videos. If this is your first time on Glitch, you'll want to make sure to create an account and sign in so that you can save your newly migrated projects. If you don't sign in, your projects will be deleted after five days. You can sign in right from the editor in the upper right hand corner of the screen, or you can go to the Glitch homepage and sign in from your profile. Glitch allows you to sign in with your email address. Provide an email address and we'll email you a special link that you can use to sign in. You can also share this link with others to allow them to sign into your Glitch account. Alternatively, you can sign in using Facebook or GitHub accounts if you have an account on either of those services that you'd like to connect. We hope this video has been informative and that you'll join us for future videos with a little more detail about the differences between the Thimble platform and the Glitch platform. Thank you for your time and welcome to Glitch.